What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Arrow Slayer. And once again today I would like to do a run request because I just have so many. And you know what? It's about time I start doing them. So with that said, I have to start myself off on a path that I think I could, you know, end with a run request. I have one here from Eska, who's a regular Discord user and also a stream uh, chatter, so I appreciate you. Uh, this one says, Root of All Evil Thief, which is pretty interesting. Obviously, it's kind of hard to get an omen, but not impossible. Like, it's certainly within the realm of possibility to do it, so I'm going to try. Probably shouldn't take root, uh, the money throw. Although, this is the thief's best skill. You know what? I will keep it, actually. Because it's like, you can't possibly l use enough money to really make too big of a dent in Root of All Evil. Also, I was going to take Minotaur along, because I also have a run request from um, Sly Mighty Owl, who is also a regular Discord chatter and stream viewer, which I also deeply appreciate. Uh, Stun, Yaksha, and Minotaur. Which is, of course, very difficult to pull off, because we got to get Yaksha. But I see Yaksha, I'm in. So, we'll start with those two. See where it goes from there. Alright. That's a start. And obviously, any amount of things I see in between here and uh, the end of the run could change my direction entirely. I'm going to try and take a decent amount of item rooms. Although, I have kind of screwed myself over a decent amount in the past couple of runs by not taking enough skull rooms and then like ending up with a really tiny amount of bone shards. Which is definitely not good. That's a tornado, Dark Elite. God, and it can chase me everywhere. This is like the worst possible uh, Dark Elite prefix for this. Okay, well, okay. Um, judgment's probably worse. Or no, um, I'm thinking of uh, the, the one that stuns you. Penance. Also, I meant to get Bludgeon, and not this skill. Oops. Oh, an Omen. That's the Brawl Omen, which I did test recently. Wasn't a good experience. Although, I mean, it's the best thing here. We may as well take it. Although, I guess there's argument to be made about just taking money, but fuck it. Brawl Omen it is, and if it ends up hurting me, I will just get rid of it. Like, I've already done my test. I'm satisfied with my experiment. Although... I did have a good experience with it on stream. And also, that was a Davy Jones run. Maybe it was Davy Jones's fault. Copian. Like, I don't know. My take on the Brawl Omen is, like, it used to be bad because Brawl was bad. And now that um, Brawl is good, it kind of stands to reason that it's, at the minimum, better. Maybe not good, but... And you know what? Maybe it is good. I don't know. Like, Davy Jones on that run was certainly uh, not helping. But, like, if I have Minotaur, that's a lot better. So, who knows? Maybe I'm about to be surprised. I'll have one good run with it that was on my Twitch stream that my YouTube audience won't see. One bad run with it that you guys did see and was a nightmare. <laughs> and maybe we'll have a good run here and then we'll just have, like, a lopsided data set. And then you guys can uh, finish in the blanks and test it yourselves. It really is an item you should be testing. Because there's not a lot of good brawl items in Skull. And if this is a good brawl item, then you know, that's a good thing. We need more good brawl items. We'll have to see. Also, I'm not committed to this for the record. I just want to make that clear. I am not committed to this, uh, to this run. Also, I'm going to pick up Masterpiece. I'll take that too. That sets me down a, a path, basically. You know, like, Black Steel Daggers is something that I can build around. I can also buy that, and I can also buy treasure. Decent shop. We're on, we're on our way to maybe something great. Frankly, crit items, which is not what I'm going for here, but crit items and money throw is extremely, like, obnoxiously powerful. This is, talk about obnoxious, we have like, uh, the annoying field effect that the warrior can provide. There's a good chance that she ults here? Okay, never mind. If he had spawned the shield in that moment, she would have ulted. Like, she's like the only adventure- okay, well the thief too. Uh, 
Actually, there's probably a good amount of I was about to say she's the only adventurer that can escape my black hole, but I don't think that's true. Oh, come on, man. What if that was the soul extractor? What then? Give me your legendary. Okay. That's fine. I didn't want it anyway. That's a little reverse psychology for you guys. I do want it, but if the game... Okay, if the game knows anyway, fuck it. I want it. Give it to me, game. I want the... Le I want a uh, Hunter's Legendary or Soul Extractor so I can get it on purpose. See, it does a lot of damage, even though we are in the early game. You know, like, enemies don't have a ton of HP, but, like, it really does do decent damage. And it's, like, pull effect is pretty nice as well. It, like, enables it to hit more often. Uh, one bad thing about having an omen is the traps like pelt you and deal a shit ton of damage. Not ideal. Did I kill him? I don't think I actually got him. I think he d I teleported away. Which for the record, if anyone's curious why I care, I just want the money. Like, <laughs> I don't really care about the enemy themselves. I just, I really want the money. Also another tornado. Making sure a tornado didn't spawn in. So far, this has been the kindest Act 1, Part 1 I've had in quite a while. Which is saying a lot, because, you know, I did take an omen on purpose. It's not even like an S-tier omen. And I also think I can't pick up this health orb. I think it's glitched. Yep, it's one of those glitched health orbs. Which is just annoying. Like, I'm out here struggling for my life and I can't get the HP. It's really not that bad. I'm being dramatic. Um, I'll take Bone Wing. Why not? Bone Wing can be a bad thing, though. Like, it can, like, throw off your mojo. We'll see if I end up regretting the Bone Wing. I do have an Omen, which makes my mojo very important. So, I don't know. I just sent myself to Death Town. Perhaps. We're good. Oh, shit. How am I going to get this, though? Minotaur being... Okay, Minotaur's wideness saves the day. You love to see it. Sometimes wide boys be winning. Not often in Skullio Slayer. But sometimes it do be that way. Alright, crit item. That's stun. That certainly sets me down an interesting path. Keep in mind, I do have a stun run request. Stun Minotaur. We're already halfway there. Also, ooh, hey, that's a lot of stun. Maybe it's about time I... I I'm going to ditch this first. That is excessive bleeding arson. Two status thingies, but we're not interested. I will take that. This gives me treasure for... I'm gonna get rid of the omen. Let's be safe. I've already passed a bunch of masterpiece stuff. So, suppose I'm not going masterpiece. It's not too late. It, it, the problem with masterpiece from here is it's gonna be very difficult to build it. I probably should at some point just ditch it. Eh, we'll keep going for now. Like, I... I it's better than this, I suppose, so. Take the HP instead. No good quints. Like, stun Minotaur is fine. I just wish I took Bludgeon. I, I meant to take Bludgeon. Shit. And there also is a stun skill on Thief 2 that we should probably try and get. I probably should have gotten that, huh? Like, I, I went from the offset here expecting to maybe be on a stun run, and I didn't do the right things. Me dumb. I'm dumb. My brain no work good. We'll make it work, though. If only the fucking ability swap NPC would show up in Act 1 when you ever need them. But, like, they're everywhere when you don't need them, and when you actually want to use them, they're nowhere to be seen. And they do it on purpose. It's my conspiracy theory. It's a conspiracy fact, actually. We're gonna be rich for this upcoming shop. 
All right. Also, another item on this run that would be incredible is the Quindit of Sadism. That would be so good. Like, just perfection. Please give me the Quindit. What up, Yiggy? How you doing, bud? I don't think this Yiggy stands much of a chance at all. He would stand less of a chance if I had bludgeon, though. Oop, don't like that none. I didn't even have the chance to use the, uh, the armor of fear. We're definitely getting Yigi ults. Oh, hey. That's not a Yigi ult. I wonder if Armor of Fear is affected by um, Go Getter. I don't think it is. We're giving him all the time in the world to do Yigi ults. Like, I gave him way too many opportunities here, but it's a little bit of a slower Yigi fight than I expected it to be. There's really not a ton of cohesion on this run right now, but we'll get there. It's like we have crit items, we have masterpiece stuff. There's a lot happening here and none of it makes sense together. Although I just had the thought, what if crit items and armor of fear is actually like really powerful? Because it's like, armor of fear is based on the damage you deal while, um, while the enemy is stunned. Also, is it the highest damage? Yeah. Dealing fixed damage proportional to the... Okay, so it doesn't matter what damage type you're doing. I was wondering if mixed damage would be good or bad on this run, but it's just... It's literally just all of your damage that you deal. So this is like a perfect run for mixed damage. I could very well end up with these two skulls at the end of the run and be very happy with it. We'll see what happens. Good Yigi fight. Thank God we got rid of that fucking omen. <laughs> I am in the mood to torture myself for a uh, for skull run today. None of this is really super exciting. We could take a quint if I wanted to, but... I mean, the best thing here is world tree seed. Is there anything I don't want? Not really. Eh, I'll take a quint. And which means I grab this. Old Totem or, or Harubong or Ogre. I'm generally a bigger fan of Ogre. These are very similar quintessences, though, in a lot of ways. Yeah, I'm going to take Ogre. I'm just like an Ogre fanatic, I guess. It's a very good quint. There's better quints, but like, if you're not sure which one you want, you take that. Uh, what's my collection desire looking like? Pretty good. It's a solid collection of Zara. I'm going to take this. I'm going to start building into Relapse. Like, we definitely want those stats for Act 2. Also, I'm definitely committing to this Minotaur. Bludgeon! Please! Nope. We'll get it. Surely to fucking God, right? Oh, there's an NPC. We've already seen the Harpy. There she is. Okay, we're getting it probably here. It's probably for the best that I didn't um, find the Act 1 Ability Swapper because, like, it's definitely better to do it once you get your skull to Unique so you can see what both the skills are. It means, like, you have to roll less. Although, if I get the Stomp Ability with Bludgeon, I will roll again because that ability is, like, really just terrible. It's the only Minotaur uh, ability that sucks. Is that what we have, by the way? No, we have Body Smash. The one where he jumps in the air. It's so bad. All right, lady. Give me what I want, please. No, that's stomp. There we go. That'll do just fine. And I will roll it once here, maybe, perhaps. Okay, well, I'm not even committed to this character, per se, so... Did I upload my rare... I think I did upload my rare thief run to YouTube. Where, like, people were recommending I play a run with just, um, only upgrading to rare thief. And I was, like, super skeptical of it for a long time. And then I finally did it, and I, like, thought it was awesome. Maybe we could do that here, actually. 
It's a three stack skill. It's not bad. Hmm. Um, also, I'm wondering if I should take item or skull room. I'll take an item room here. But like rare thief is genuinely like a strategy that you can use and it's it's like kind of smart. Cause like his um his back roll at rare is very unique and it's like probably the strongest slowness effect that's consistent in the game. I'm trying to think of one that's better. You know, you have like um uh Predator Sw Oh no, no, that that would be Yaksha. Although he doesn't technically apply slow, I guess. No, thank you. Of course, it shows up now. I'm. <laughs> what a cruel, cruel item. We are technically crit items. In fact, I will take this. Let's get crazy with it. This could end up being a very wacky run. But like my hypothesis that crit items are good on um, on like armor of fear runs because it's it's like extra damage that you would otherwise not be dealing to make your number higher and it doesn't say like skull damage or anything so it should apply to items as well let's read it one more time dealing fixed damage the shockwave damage is proportional to the damage dealt to the stun enemy so it should work just saying it should work if it doesn't work i i'm gonna be pissed i'm just saying real fucking mad you've never seen an angrier hex stun and slow r.i.p these people are just dunzo I have a good feeling about this run. We've also high rolled our doors, which I actually kind of like. Lots of money here. Let's see what we can cook up. Good, but not what I'm looking for. I don't think. I am swapping a lot, but like that's I think that's spreading my strategies too thin. I don't have like minute. I, I need to be looking for a good stun, and of course, purple flurp is good as well. Oh, I should have taken that. Was that a bone of courage? I think I passed a bone of courage. Oops. Okay, I was hoping I would see half of a, a Folger Dawn. Dude, no shot. This is stunned, but I don't like it. It's like bad inscription, so I'm not going to take it. Um, This could go, I suppose. I could also get off treasure for it. I didn't really want to get off treasure for it, but I, I think I'm going to. I do want Fulgent done on this run if I can get it. For one, it's been a while since I've used it. Have you guys noticed that? I think I've pointed it out a couple times, but like, it's been a while since I've gotten Fulgent on. Like, a shockingly long amount of time. And I, it's not because I'm avoiding it on purpose. Like, I'm shameless. I'll take it. Just because, like, the game is, like, being stingy. Okay. Get me out of here. I'm done with this room. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I did want the wheel. I'm thinking, like, maybe, like, um... If we're doing crit items stuff like i'm very happy i got this i like on ability on ability activating items especially because we have that st uh, stack skill and i'm highly highly considering not upgrading this thief in fact i think i'm going to commit to that we're going to do a rare thief run it's a very interesting and cool strat pretty easy adventurers here i'm pretty happy to see it Nothing wrong with a little ease in my life. Shouldn't get too ahead of myself, though. Did that hit me? No. Get stunned so I can... Uh, sh yeah, please. I, I want to see how powerful... Um, uh, invisible enough is with uh, the thing. I'm like, I, my, If my hypothesis is correct... We might be doing Giga damage by the end of this run. Okay, I need to wait till I'm done stomping. I need to sneak past the mage. No soul extractor. That's also a prisoner. If he... I don't think you can have Wolf Trap at the start. Wolf Trap on a stun run would be really nice. Hmm. 
The only issue with this is, at the earliest, I could get him to Legendary in Act 3. And I don't think we're on pace for that. I think I'm not going to take him here. Although, it's certainly tempting to do a Wolf Trap um, stun run, but we'll pass. We'll get the Prisoner soon. Don't worry, Prisoner fans. For the record, I'm one of y'all, okay? I love the Prisoner. But the Prisoner doesn't come on this run with me. Not this time. Why is he healing? Is there one of those clerics around here? Yes. There's two of these Mother Hubbards. I'll take an honor room here. We're way ahead in Bone Shards. Especially since I'm uh, keeping the Thief at rare. Good stuff. I'm getting my money. You guys can't stop me. It's my money and I need it now. Hup. Okay, we're not as rich as I would like to be for this upcoming shop, but I did get rid of Treasure 4, so... Like, what did I expect? I wanted money to come out of the clear blue nothing. And we're not even at the shop yet, actually. That's shocking. I thought for sure this would... We've, like, Giga Omega high rolled our doors. Which, on this run, I'm feeling it. Sometimes, I want to low roll my doors, but right now, I'm fine with this. Sir, you need to stop. You ain't, you ain't making it past this point. Just making sure you understand that. No need to drag it out. Your life is forfeit to me. It's mine. I can do with it as I please. Now, <laughs> my life was looking a little forfeit there. I'm going to keep it a buck. I was a little scared. Thankfully, everything's okay. Fulgent Dawn, please. I'm not going to take the Baja Blast. Uh, Well, we'll take this instead, very happily. Now we can go to stun four. Which probably means... Get rid of this. Buy Disney's four. Now my goal is to get Medusa. That's like my number one goal. Oh, I could take this, actually. What's my treasure? Oh, that allows me to keep treasure, too, and get it off my pedestal, which I think is good. Not that I need a pedestal right now. Goodbye. Oh, but this is good with... We don't really need crit rate with the black steel daggers, I guess. This can go. And I'll buy... Either Courage or Misfortune. We're at 60 crit rate. Which is actually good. I'm fine with the, uh, 60 crit rate. Let's buy Courage. We need damage. We're getting there. It's all coming together. Alright, no Dark Elite here, which is always just nice to see. It's good vibes. It's like, this Dark Elite's kind of on the low, like, very annoying. Before we open or uh, activate this pile of gold, we open the chest so no stupid sh uh, chicanery happens. Yeah, I used the word. I don't think that's actually a proper use of chicanery. Oh well, I said what I said. Good stuff. Now that we have the Warrior Steel Mace, our stun run is, like, real. This is legit. Uh, a living skeleton, yeah? What of it? Are you afraid? Why is it? Why is this so surprised to see a skeleton? They're a monster. Or a demon, whatever you want to call them. Like, they should know. It's like... You've surely got You've seen us around. Oh. Oh, yeah! Aren't they from, like, a hidden, like, like city or something? Sir, Grace of the Mist God. Max HP, I'll take it. Though, not very exciting. I would have preferred the crit rate, but... You know what? 
It is what it is. You can't change the past. All right, sir. Bring on the ladies. No, that is not a good thing. <laughs> it's a very bad thing, even. It's like, send these ladies back. Bring out another batch, please. I want nothing to do with these. Oh my god, did you see that damage I did? That was like 1,000. They almost look like the old Leona sisters. Did you see that? Because of the slowness. Yeah, they're moving like the Leona sisters in normal mode. That's pretty funny. I've gotten so used to the Leona sisters' movement in the Dark Mirror that like seeing them in um, normal mode makes it seem like they're slow motion. I'm trying not to do too much damage to her. Damn. Bring... Okay, good. This is going very well. This is what we like to see. If we want to do this the right way, which I do. Still got to slow down from here, though, because she's starting to get pretty low. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Leave her alone. We want to hurt the other sister just a tad bit more. That's that's good, actually. She's going to not be like as low as she could be, but she's going to be decently low. Good enough for me. Although, I would have liked to have gotten her a little lower. We do have stun, so it's maybe not so bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> we destroyed them. They didn't stand a fucking chance. I mean, that's what happens when you play the fight correctly. Makes it so much easier on you. I didn't even see what HP she revived at, but I know it was like near half. I see the Amulet of Duality. That's like the perfect item for this run. Nothing better here. It's not like there's a Medusa, so I'm taking this. It's hard to fit it, though. Got a lot I'm doing here. Hmm. Don't I have courage? I bought it on the pedestal. I could get rid of this. I don't really want to, but I'll do it. I'm such a fan of this item. I'm a sucker for it, but it's got to go. Okay. Give me something cool. Glass body. Something for the record that I've completely changed my mind on. I was a fool for disliking it for as long as I did. This is an incredible curse. Ignore everything I ever said, like, before, like, a few weeks ago about Glass Body. It's very good. Now, is it as good as, um, a Coward? No. But, like, they're comparable, and if you can't get your hands on Coward, this is, like, a great, uh, second, uh, alternative. Oh my god, that, that's so good against this guy in particular. Maybe not, actually. I thought it was doing more damage to him than it was. You need to stop, sir. Thank God the Frieza has, like, the courtesy to not show up, like, now. That would be so annoying, contending with the, uh, with the Frieza while I'm trying to fight this Dark Elite. Now we have to contend with the Frieza. Man, I wish we had Medusa so badly. Now we have Relapse going, too. This run's coming together very nicely. We just need to upgrade this Minotaur and also Medusa. Like, that's my number one goal right now. Alright, Frieza. Did you also have... I think because I jumped there, he's going to come after me. He's definitely coming now, yeah. It's <laughs> just melting the Frieza. I'm telling you, Rare Thief ain't bad. Although, I shouldn't be the one saying I'm telling you. Uh, this, this is... Shoutouts to Piplip. 
one of my most notorious viewers and also Sly Mighty Owl who I shouted out at the start of this run and this is actually his run request if I can get the Yaksha. But um, they're the ones that put me on it. And also I shouldn't say Piplip's my most notorious viewer. That's Zaza. But Piplip's up there. Truly a madman. The mad scientist of Skull. Okay, I'm not letting you guys summon your fucking friends, so just get over that. It's not happening. I wonder if this slows them down. They almost did, honestly. I got scared there for a second. Not that it would really do anything horrible if they summon their friend. I just don't want them to because it, like, gives them morale. And they don't deserve that. They've not earned it, unlike me, who has. Solar Sword, please. I've held on to this Copium for so long, I need to get my uh, fix. Why is it so rare these days, bro? Fulgent? Come on, bro. You can't be serious. It is serious. Oh, wait. Stun Quint. Thank God I looked up there and saw that. This is not as good as Medusa, but this is like a room clearer now. You guys want to see it? I don't know if I've shown this on my YouTube channel, actually. Look at that shit. <laughs> it's just an explosion. It's so good. Not as good as Medusa, but still great. Like, you're never going to hear me say anything bad about um, Evil Eye. Oh my god, that I'm so sorry. I had a Twitch stream open and they hosted somebody. That is so <laughs> Well, <laughs> that's gonna like the people who are trying to fall asleep to that, I apologize. Welcome back to the world of the waking. Uh I'm sorry you've been brought here against your will, but I'm sure you'll be off to Dreamland again in no time. <laughs> god, that's so stupid. What a dumbass way to like uh, hurt my audience i'm gonna dm i'm not <laughs> dm that twitch streamer and say how dare you you ruined my audio recording i demand recompense 10 gifted subs please then we'll talk about forgiveness ah uh, still gotta deal with the dark elite every time i uh have like something like that happen like a a steam uh you know like a trailer or something starts playing i just imagine i'm downloading uh like golden something is downloading goldenpalace.com against my will onto my computer is that still a thing i don't know if that's still a thing i feel like crypto casinos would have like pushed them out which thank god <laughs> it's like yeah we went from golden palace to crypto casinos we're really moving up in the world. That's f good stuff. All right, y'all are getting absolutely fucked here by my uh, by my stun. Oh, look how much damage they have taken. Like the <laughs> they're already dead. Incredible uh, Act Three adventures. Not that we're out of it yet, but. beautiful i think my uh hypothesis is working like i don't know my uh my freaking armors of fear or armor of fear feels a lot stronger also i did not mean to kill her i should have been much more careful with that because that's that's like what we need to break this run wide open is um get her legendary and then it's like we're off to the races there's nothing that the game could do to stop me And we're fully complete building our skull, so we can now start working on my skill cooldown, which is going to be very important with my thief. Like, this is important stuff. The more times I can use his skill, the better for me. Which means lots and lots of uh, skull rooms moving forward. Also, this seems like the perfect room to use my, uh, my, like, Suwon Isio evil eye in. It's actually, uh, it's not Suwon Isio, obviously. But. 
nothing Suanisio. Except Suanisio, of course. She's just the greatest. Not actually. Like, I, I, I remember that dumbass opinion I had where I was like, uh, she's actually better than Shadow Knights. And that was like a whole ass conversation for an entire episode. I don't remember when I recorded this, but I was super wrong about those opinions I was saying. I've since completely changed my mind. Not that I think Suanisio is bad or anything, just uh, not better than Shadow Knights. Hey, bada bing. Damn. If only that was Yaksha, then we could... Actually, if it was Yaksha, I don't know what I would do. Because I kind of like what we're doing right now. I would do it, I guess, for the run request. It's like an excuse to play Yaksha, so... But, like, I don't know. I really like what we're doing here. These guys are unstoppable, I think. What was unstoppable there? Yeah, these guys are unstoppable. That is interesting. Play armor. Be gone. No one likes you. I don't think my Caltrops... Oh, this isn't play armor. It's protection. I'm an idiot. No doi. All right, my eye itches, gotta scratch that shit. Y'all know what's up. Did I open this treasure chest? I don't think I did. Nope, that would have been horrific, unforgivable, but I did it. So you guys can't yell at me. Is this breakable? It is. Yo, there's money in there. I've been missing out on min maxes all this time. Wait, is there money in here? No. Like, that uh, container almost looked like a background piece. If not, like, it just legit looked like a group background piece. Not even almost. The second time I've seen the halfling, I'm kind of... I, I think we're moving on to the shop here, so I'm probably not going to free her. But there's definitely a point to be made here about freeing the halfling. Like, she is... Like, there's a chance that we don't see her again, of course. Be as cautious as I can about that. Don't want to get slapped with a fucking grenade. Solar sword. Thank you. Jesus. Like, out here trying my best. Now what am I looking for? Gunpowder sword, probably. Poison rope dart again. Just, I don't think I can take it. I just don't think I can. Um, 1380. I can do a refresh. Oh, I'm so glad I did a refresh. How do I afford this, though? And how do I fit it? Probably just get rid of one of these. I have three arms, so this would go. If I sell this, can I buy it? I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't. But of course I'm taking this pot of greed. I'd have to sell two things. This and this, maybe. But that's like, this is super important, actually. I don't have wisdom though, actually. What's how many legendaries do I have? One, two, three. And then that would be four, so. Well, I'm going to sell this, and now I just have to figure out the other thing. Maybe it's time I got off the crit item stuff. Though, I just. No, man. I'm I, like this is an interesting build. I've never done this before. I have to stick to this. I have to. It's just I at this point I'm committed. Maybe this just goes. Maybe this goes. Ugh, I better lose courage. What's my stats? That's painful. We'll take this for now. I mean, I have more stats than I did, but we definitely want courage back. Very important that I get that back. Pain and despair, not great, but you know what? It'll do. Okay, this is like the perfect room for this. Okay. That room was looking kind of kind of zesty. I wasn't liking where that was going. So 
we just use our freaking Suanisio, of course. Though I'm looking for a Medusa still. I would happily pivot from this to Medusa if I could get it. Like, I don't know why they made Medusa so overpowered, but they did. And I ain't here to complain about it. I'm just curious. What was their thought process when they made Medusa? For one, when they made so many stun quintessences. Like, there's so many more stun quints than there are any other um, status quints. Or even, really, like, I don't know. It's just weird. I, maybe because they didn't put status or stun on one skull as a representative. So they were like, let's just put it on a bunch of quints. The most, the closest we have to a stun representative as a skull is Minotaur, because he actually has like um, stun, like synergy. I think, yeah. Uh, when skills are cast, create an earthquake four times, dealing physical damage to nearby enemies with a ten percent chance to inflict stun. Which is actually not bad. Actually, the more like when I look at that, that's the shock wave, right? Yeah, it, that's actually pretty high chances, honestly. 10% per each Earthquake. That ain't bad. Alright, Chimera. This is going to be, of course, the test for the run. Are we dealing the Giga Damage yet? I think we are. And also, um, Chimera gets shredded by uh, rare... Also, let's do a Giga Stomp. There we go. Uh, gets shredded by rare thief uh, Caltrops. It, like works extremely well on her. Also, the slowness on this kind of good. Oh, it completely fucked her up too. Like it completely messed up her attack pattern, which is pretty sweet. All right, that was good. Like we're, we're there. Could still stand to uh, grow a little more, but like the run's there. We got the damage. No Medusa. Unfortunate. Pretty much garbage across the board, if we're being honest. I'm gonna break a legendary item. I was thinking about breaking a Quint, but I'm not at a point where I care about max HP too awful much. Finger flick, please. Nope. Well, it's definitely go getter. Maybe we'll see Finger Flick in the Act 5 transition. Give me all the skill cooldown. We're definitely, uh, at, hopefully, by now, going to have high up time on our Caltrops. That's the only issue I'm seeing so far, is its cooldown is, like, enormous. Well, it's not that bad, but it's pretty bad. 10 seconds doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. 17 and 8. Bludgeon has, like, enormous cooldown. Which is fair. All stun should be pretty balanced. Um, I do want to get rid of this item. Maybe I should... No, I need bone shards. I need bone shards. I need to get this uh, skill cooldown maxed out. I'm going to hold off on using my... Um, actually, no, I'm going to use it here. I was going to say hold off on using this until the, um, the executioner gets here. But that was looking pretty gnarly. And it's looking gnarly now even. Although the Executioner can't actually, like, do normal Executioner shenanigans to me because I have the Glass Body Curse. You need to go. Why are you even here? Giga Stomp. I don't know why they made the thief so weird. Like, the fact that he has, like, different um, abilities on his back roll skill every single level is so weird. Like, they, they used to do that all the time. If you look at, like, early skull, uh, or at least, like, before 1.4 skull abilities. Like, there were so many weird choices, and then they kind of fixed it. But for some reason, thief is, like, the last vestige of, of, that, of the old uh, game design days. Thank you for the champion. Glass body absolutely popping off. Depending on who we get in the adventure fight, it could like make or break the run, honestly. Like imagine glass body against the archer. It's like 
like a godsend. You are out of here. Don't need you, but I don't want you in there. You're taking up space, valuable space. Okay, now we're all of a sudden getting all kinds of bone shards, which I'm happy about. Dude. You're dead. There's like no saving you. Dunzo. See, we're taking a lot of damage, but like I can't get comboed, which is so, so useful. Like the uh, plus 50% extra damage is no big deal. You can uh, make up for it very well. This I'll actually take over this. Though we do have rapidity. Whereas I don't have execute or duel. But we also... Hmm. Eh, actually, maybe I don't take that. It's only 75%. Take this though. Actually, the more I think about it, the more I do want this. Compare the stats. It's a lot more, yeah. I don't really care about rapidity. We're not using it. So yeah, not a great shot, but at this stage, you usually don't get great shots because your run is generally pretty built by this point. So it's like shops become weaker. How is this guy alive? How are you alive? There's so many of you left. Okay, I'm going to remember the Demon Hunter. You can't sneak up on me anymore. That is interesting cheating. I, I did that on purpose, actually. That was me cheating on purpose. Yeah, I cheat. What of it? No, thank you. Here comes more cheating. I crafted my own Suanisio. And it goes hard. And you can't stop me. I don't know why I'm acting like that's a cheat. I guess it kind of is a cheat. And it honestly, it's Suanisio at home too. I don't think I have to free the Halfling. God, she, this is the most I've ever seen her. <laughs> most of the time, she's like a struggle to even like get like ever. But like she showed up like 10 times on this run. I never know the solution here. In fact, this could be the solution. It is. It's either like there's like two here and one over here or they're all three next to each other. Maybe there's multiple solutions actually. But I've started noticing the three right next to each other solution. All right, Archer, I kind of want it to be the Archer, just so I can rub it in her fucking face. Okay, well, it's you. I mean, he can be a pain in the ass too. But I ain't getting comboed. Ow, Jesus. Get owned. You are getting owned, my friend. He is not having a good time, which I'm very happy about. This used to be my least favorite adventurer, but things have changed. Caltrops. Also, here comes the Suanisio. Oh, he's slowness. He's super slowness. That was so weird. Man, he is just having the worst time. I kind of am too all of a sudden, though. What the hell happened to me? Uh. Oh. I think I'm going to lose my life here. Got to get lucky. I really don't like that slowness. Oh, so fucking close. Dude, that's so irritating. 
Oh well. That's what I get for being cocky. I'm not worried about the run or anything. Just unfortunate that that happened. Like, we have plenty of HP going to this next portion. Like, I could put all of this here, which is maybe part of our problem. Decent stats. Maybe my hypothesis is wrong, though. I don't know. You guys tell me, as viewers, did you think that, um... That my, uh... My crit items were affecting my... The power of my uh, thingy. My armor fear. Sorry, I'm just trying to not die here. Also, if I lose this run, I blame not having Medusa. There, I said it. It's never my fault. <laughs> it's because I didn't get Medusa. Easy. Next. Never take the responsibility challenge. I always do it. I mean, I don't think I did too much wrong. Except for maybe spreading my strategies then. Like, I was pretty sure my hypothesis would work, but I'm starting to have a couple doubts. Howdy. One thing I certainly don't doubt is the power of stun. So fucking overpowered. Enjoy the corner with all of the Caltrops, bozo. How many demon hunters have I fought? Like, I know there's one over here. Has there been a demon? I, I played this game with the, um, with the Frieza recently. Like, how many Frieza's uh, did I have to fight? I don't remember if that you the video made it to YouTube. That might have been a run that I lost. But, like... I felt like I was fighting a Frieza in every single fucking room, man. Also, is this a skull room? Let's look for a dupe. You know, you always gotta check. Okay, it's not. Still out the remaining one. We're very likely to get a legendary here. At minimum, a unique. Like, once you see him this late, he gives you so much bone shards. Alright. I kind of want the Amulet of Duality back. This is definitely not a bonker run. I, I suppose it could be if I got rid of this, but then I would have this for no reason. Although, hold up. We completely changed course here at the very end. No more magic, just full physical. What's my courage, four? Oh, wait. Yo, just out of the clear blue nothing, this loses its damage, but who cares? Damn, dude, what a glow up. Oh, get out of here. Slow Extractor BM Classic. But if anyone doesn't know, this is one of the custom items from the custom items mod I'm playing. This is Orc King's Trusty Club. The weapon of the strongest orc. Once plated in gold, but he could never maintain it, his brute strength would shatter it. Um, increases physical attack by 100%. You cannot deal magic damage anymore. Courage, courage. It's definitely one of the premier items, in my opinion, from the mod. Most people, when they see this, are going to get like instant value out of it, but... It's rare for me to take items like this because I play mixed damage a lot, but all of a sudden I saw a way to elevate this run to new heights and I had to take it. We also have this. I'll uh, look for a pivot off of that when we get to the uh, Joan chest. The only unfortunate thing being is both of Joan's legendaries or her like unique items are magic damage, but we'll find something. Also, I guess kind of nice that I didn't upgrade my Thief. This is like one of his only physical uh, damage things he has. Actually. I'll take this. It's not like a permanent item, but it's better if, like, if I don't get anything to replace that with, I'd rather have this at the end of the run than that, so. We certainly don't need treasure anymore, so that's not a big deal. Very nice. Still more doors. I'm telling you guys, this is like one of the highest giga roll door counts I've had in a very long time. This could change everything. We 
we're going pretty slow here. It's not looking too good. Uh, mm, it's a little expensive, but I'll buy it. Nice. Courage. This is probably better. So I have courage, courage, courage. Where's my other courage? On the pedestal? There's a little fly in my room. A little moth or something. A one little moth. <laughs> Sorry, what a weird distraction. I think I'll take this actually. Get rid of that, grab this. Uh, maybe fix my pedestal in the, sh uh, in the shop. We'll see. Either way, that's a pretty nice little addition at the end of this run. All right, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, uh, despite not having my... Uh, actually, I do need to take last resistance after we get out of here. It's going to be tough, actually. Maybe I don't need last resistance, though. That It does put the run in more jeopardy, which I don't want. I want this to be a pretty secure win. Maybe my power is enough to overcome not having last uh, reassembly. Like, we are pretty goddamn powerful. Definitely not getting rid of Go-Getter. It's too powerful with uh, Medusa. Or, I mean, um, that was a Freudian slip. It's too powerful with uh, with Warrior Still Mace. Also, good god, this is actually not... Why am I, Why is this going so slowly? Oh, it's because we don't have stun, that's why. And they expect it to go this slowly even then, though. Like, the carrying and driving force behind this run is stun, so, like, this was always going to be a pain in the ass. Excuse me. I hope they didn't pick up in my microphone. Oh, I wonder if that makes the shield last longer. I don't think it did, but like, if that would be annoying if slowness like uh, made that last longer or something. Yeah, this is very irritating. Phase two is going to be significantly easier, though. Shockingly, that didn't feel all that powerful. I'm going to try and stop her from. Actually, I shouldn't stop her from summoning her orbs. They could actually have an impact on the fight. I don't ever do it if I feel like it could actually like change the fight in my favor because that's like kind of that's that's actually cheating but as you can see this is going significantly better let's be thief small skull privilege and all that try and stop her from leaving here get giga stomped okay that went super well phase two is a good sign for the hero the ring. We don't really have much use for crit items anymore, actually. Hmm. Treasure, though. I mean, that's two inscription um, things. What would I get rid of? Probably this. 75 versus 50? 40. So I lose 35 damage percent, but gain all these other stats? Yeah. 100% this goes. Let's look at my inscriptions real quick. What would I buy? I uh, lose execute. And I would buy antique, I guess. Fuck it. Is that really what I want to get rid of? Is there anything better? I'm only getting 40% amp. But, I mean, that's still quite a lot. Yeah, honestly. I've made my mind up. OCD. Hard pass. Hardest pass of all time. How strong. Eh. I'm just... We're going ahead. Fuck it. I'm living on the edge today. Very dangerous moment for me. At least we made it to the hero. That's generally all I truly care about. If I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. 
We do have glass body, which will help a lot. It does become less useful against the dark hero, though. Like, glass body's especially good in rooms, and it's not bad against bosses. You can still get comboed in bosses, especially against the hero, but it does lose some of its value. Still great, though. Alright, pedestal. Show me what you have, please. Hey, look, it's this. We could buy this and have zero damage on both stats. <laughs> Does it, that sounds good to me. What do you guys think? Antique. Or Fortress. I'm taking Antique. There we go. Now we're above 300. Buy this. Buy this. And that looks good to me. No Medusa throughout the whole run, but honestly, that's fine. It's fine. Who cares? This is our kit. And honestly, it got very good at the end. Like, immediately out of nothing. Or nowhere. It just, like, got better. I think. I don't know. It does feel better, honestly. Like, this is a good way to compare what we were doing before when I had, like, the crit items to what we're doing now. And, like, wonder if my hypothesis was correct that it makes my thing stronger. I still don't know the answer. I don't know if we were stronger before or after. More than likely after. Like, almost certainly even, but... Because, like, we didn't really have too much mixed damage happening on the build. Like, our magic was barely being used. Only Invisible Knife, which is really, honestly, a itself alone to justify mixed damage. But, I don't know. I do feel stronger than I was before. That, uh, Joan Phase 1, though, would have gone a lot easier with the crit items. But, that's not important. It's hero time. My first time fighting him today. Go easy on me, please, sir. Could you... I don't know. Go easy on me. I literally wasted all of those. you love to see it. Uh... Actually, now that I think about it, if I remember correctly, the last time I played this Rare Thief run was also a stun run with the Rare Thief. Was it these two skulls together? I don't think so, but it could have been. That'd be kind of embarrassing. Not the, I mean, the run's still great. I don't remember what I did on my Rare Thief run. Okay, I shouldn't get too carried away. Like, I don't have to stop him from using his ult. Oh, shit. Okay, we're fine. Oh shit, we're not fine. I gotta run. Never stand on the side he's facing. Not even once. Alright. That was a good phase one. That's how that had to go to stand a chance here. Since we don't have any cushion. If I die, I die. What up, you? You? My best friend in the whole wide world. That'd be pretty sad if that were true. My best friend's pixels in a video game. What of it? 4,000? Not bad. That hurt pretty bad. Sir, what are you doing? Fuck. I keep doing that. Also, I wasted my intestines. Small skull privilege. Great showcasing of exactly what I mean when I say that. Uh, for the record, what I'll say about Rare Thief, viable strategy? Is it better than a normal, like, fully uh, decked out thief? No. It's good, though. And the fact that it's good and usable is uh, enough for me. Because, like, I used to make fun of this whenever uh, it would be requested. Also, I'm going to uh, stun you with my quintessence. Nothing you can do about that.
Oh, he's gonna blow up. Okay, I gotta keep in mind, no cushion. So I have to take this very seriously. Every moment matters. Even that mattered. <laughs> he didn't even get the move. Beautiful. G freaking G's. What a unique run. Didn't think I'd be on a unique run when I came home. But I was. You love to see it. Anyways. um, I don't want to do this windscreen. I kind of want to get the evil eye in it. I mean, he's earned it. Rare Thief, Evil Eye, sure. Actually, I don't even think you'll see the Thief. I think it's just going to be the Evil Eye, actually. If only I was dead center. <laughs> if I was just, like, a little further to the left, it would actually look like my character was just the Evil Eye. But honestly, pretty good windscreen. I think that's one of the better ones I've had in a while. GG's. Uh, if only his eye was open, though. Just a little bit of a, a timing difference. But, um... You know what? That's nitpicking. This run was awesome. Um, stun shenanigans. Close to Sly Mighty Owl's run request, but not quite. Because no Yaksha, but I tried. You know, if I'd seen Yaksha, I probably would have begrudgingly taken it because it's the run request. But like, I don't know. I mean, the run is still extremely satisfying. Like, I don't know. There's just something about little weird strategies like this in Skull that are so fun to just like use. Like, obviously, Minotaur is good, but, like, Rare Thief, just an odd little thing that just turns out is actually works. It took me close to 2,000 hours to even try it. <laughs> um, if you want, like, reliable slowness, it's hard to beat this. And I'm talking, like, literal slowness debuff. Like, obviously, Rock Shosses and really Champion 2 also have, like, a kind of slowness, but theirs is not the slowness status. This is like one of the only reliable sources of the slowness status. Um, aside from that, the run itself was quite good. Um, got the Orc King's Trusty Club at the very end, which took a while to get, but once I got it, you know, like I wasn't even thinking about doing like a, I was still trying to get like my, um, my freaking, what's it called? Uh, um, Amulet of Duality back for a while. I don't regret the decisions I made though. Like, selling the Amulet of Duality to get this was a good decision. Um, and also, what else did I sell alongside it? I don't remember what else I sold alongside it. Oh, yeah, the sword. The golden sword. Which, also, notice, by the way, like, those, the sword and the wand are very good items. I've talked about this before. I have a tendency to get rid of them pretty much every single run. Like, by the end of the run, I don't have them. It's, like, very consistent. And it's weird because they're good items. But, like, oftentimes I just find, like, it makes sense to get rid of them. Uh, all that said and done, though. Good run. I had fun. I hope you guys did as well. Uh, glad to be back. I wasn't on a purposeful hiatus, but, like, it was like a weird mini hiatus of, like, just assortment of dumb bullshit that kept happening. But we're here now. We're uh, back to making regular content. So here I am. Hopefully you guys are having fun and enjoying it. Uh, and with all that said, I'm done. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.